This is a brief tutorial on how to create a list and add new leads to the My Call Cloud Beachy Dial system. Step 1 Login as Administration. You would have been assigned that administration login by one of the My Call Cloud technicians. Once you are logged in, you're going to browse to Lists. We're going to add a new list. We're going to give this list an ID. This is a numerical ID can be arbitrary, but something that's memorable enough. We're going to give it a list name and a description. We're going to assign it to a campaign. We're just going to assign it to the test campaign for now. And we're going to make this list active. Click on the Submit button. Once you've created the list, you have a couple options within the list. One of those options happens to be Agent Script Override. This allows you to choose a particular script assigned to this list. This will override the campaign settings for list for scripts. Also a couple other settings here, Answer Machine Message Override. This is important. This will override the answer machine message for campaigns. And also if you have any particular transfer conference numbers for third party transfers, you can assign them directly to the list as well. Once you've created a new list, we're going to go ahead and add leads to that list. So we're going to add or load new leads. Once you've clicked on load new leads, you're going to choose your lead file. list ID override. This is just the list that we created. 2002. Test list. We're going to leave phone code override alone for the time being. We're going to choose custom layout. Now we're going to choose whether or not we want to remove duplicates from this list. The most common list duplication removal are either by phone in list ID, so just this list ID, or by all lists in campaigns. Both of those are very popular. For now we're not going to remove duplicates. I'm going to click the submit button and now we're going to map our list. So these are the potential fields I have in my list. My list happens to be a comma separated value list or a CSV list. So vendor lead code, we're just going to pick account number, source ID, we're going to pick file number. Phone code, we're going to leave alone. Phone number, we're going to choose phone. First name, name. Now the name happens to be in one total field, so don't worry about setting a last name. If you do have first name and last name, of course set them here. Address, address city, city, state, state, province we're going to leave alone, zip, zip, and any other particular information you may have associated in this list. Email, date of birth possibly, gender. Some of these fields are available to use as custom fields. So if you wanted to import, let's say, notes, you could import notes into a comments field. I'm going to happen to pick product for my security phrase field. Again, this is a field we can use as a custom field. I'm going to click OK to process. I've loaded 50 leads, one bad lead for a total of 51. Now, you're always going to get a bad record, and that one bad record is what we're calling the header row. So the very top row is going to be eliminated. That's the one that has the column headers. First name, last name, city, state, zip, phone number. So now we've loaded 51 leads into this list. We're going to confirm that. Lists. We're going to click on the list we created, 2002. 
we're going to scroll to the very bottom of this list and you can see that it did indeed load 50 leads into this list. That concludes this very short tutorial on how to create a list and load new leads to that list. Thank you.